Welcome back. In today's Bardeen tutorial, we're talking about the powerful concept of field mapping. You might remember that children's game you played back in the day where you had a picture of an apple and a word apple and you need to match the two. So there are two different types of data fields and you just need to say, hey, they are related to each other. In the automation world, there is a very similar thing. Imagine you want to transfer information from a task management app such as Asana and you want to transfer the information to say a Google Sheet or Notion. They can have any type of column names. One column can be called a task name, another can be called status, but you're in control. You can choose whatever you want to call each column. How would an automation tool know where to pipe and send the data coming from, say, Asana, where information is structured, to Notion, where information is unstructured and where you get to decide what you want it to be? In this video, we're going to get down and answer that question. And the best way to learn is to do it. So let's go ahead and build this exact automation. I'm going to open Bardeen with the option B shortcut. If you're a pro, you know the shortcut option B. And we're going to create a new automation and find Asana over here. This is going to be our first action. We're going to find Asana tasks uh, right here. And we're just not going to specify any title or who it's assigned to. It's going to be just Asana tasks. So we're getting all of the Asana tasks that we have access to. And then we're going to add a new action and we're going to add this information to Notion. So let's um, go ahead and uh, create Notion pages inside a database. I'm not sure if I have a database for this stuff. So uh, let's go to notion.so. Okay, so I've just created a new page called Asana Tasks. Uh, we're going to make it a table. So imagine it's like you creating a new Google Sheet. So same thing if you do not know how Notion works. And here you have different types of fields. Uh, we have uh, the name field. Let's uh, title it uh, task name. You can call it anything, but how will Bardeen, your automation tool, know what is a name, what is a status, what is an assignee? So uh, let's go ahead and do, yeah, multi-select. Let's call it assignee. Uh, like this. We can also add another property. It's going to be a date property. Uh, call it uh, due date. And that looks pretty good to me. Uh, the last thing I want to do is I want to add a connection and pick Bardeen and hit confirm. Uh, this is how you add stuff to Notion, integrations to Notion. So from here, option B shortcut one more time. Let's find uh, this exact database called Asana Tasks. Okay, there we have it. And then this is this is the thing, this is field mapping. So let's map data from one place to another. So we're going to map uh, data from uh, find Asana tasks right here. Uh, we're going to grab the assignee first. It's alphabetical order. There's assignee email, assignee name. Let's do assignee name. Let's do uh, due time and the task name. Uh, there we have it. Cool. I'm going to click on done and um, hit done again. Call it uh, transfer Asana to Notion. This is our automation. Save. Cool. So now you have an automation. We've done some field mapping. So we've uh, map the data coming from uh, your Asana action to Notion. Uh, let's just go ahead and with one click, run it and see what happens. Boom. And just like this, as you can see, we have all of the tasks transferred. Let's see how many we got. We got 23 tasks, I guess, excluding uh, these other ones that were empty. Uh, so this is how you transfer information. This is how you do field mapping. Uh, you have, uh, again, if we open uh, this automation, uh, you have actions coming from the first action onto your other action over here. But here comes a bigger question. Say you want to create an automation and you want to share this automation with your friend or your colleague who does not have the same database. How do you map the data to the fields that you do not know yet? Uh, you do not know what the person has in their notion. They can have different types of names, different property types. So you never know this. And for this, we have come up with playbook configuration. So here we can create columns. Um, and for example, we're going to have a uh, task name column. Um, it's the name of the argument that will be asked 
when you share the playbook. I'm going to show you exactly what it means. So let's uh, go ahead and do this. And then, so you've created a field that you do not know about yet, but it's going to be asked later when you configure your playbook. So let's go ahead and um, map data from Sana to Notion one more time. So we have name here. Let's do uh, SINE, uh, it can be task SINE, uh, two S's, okay, let's confirm that. And let's map the data, SINE name. Uh, it's actually going to be, let's configure name, um, SINE name. A little bit more clear cool and then let's add one more due date that's going to be that uh, you can also field uh, choose a different field type so you can say hey it's a date okay and let's do due date and maybe in your database you only have three fields but other people want to have additional data you do not want to deprive them of that opportunity so we're going to click on add more columns and do uh, task description like this and map the, uh, I think it's called notes in the case of Asana. Yeah, notes, cool. And then we also want a uh, status. So let's create the status. So this is what we've done. We've created five different columns and then we've mapped the data and you're going to be asked for the database to be configured every time. So click on done. And let's click on done one more time over here. And let's watch the magic happen. So you want to share this playbook with a friend of yours. You do not know their Notion database, but you need to establish some sort of a relationship between his database, which is variable, and Asana. So let's click on the card. And now we are asked for the database in Notion. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, do Asana tasks one more time. Okay, just like this. And if you scroll up a little bit, here is a very cool thing that happened. So Bardeen automatically tried to match data based on the names inside Notion, in this case, to the names that you created. So on the left side, those are the data fields that we just created. So those are the exact names. And then on the right side, those are the data fields that come from the database that was chosen. This is how you create the relationship as a person who uses it at the end. So we have the test name, SINE name, as you can see, names are different, but match perfectly. Due date, um, I don't have a field uh, there inside Notion for task descriptions, but if you leave these fields empty, it's just going to be skipped. So cool. And the last thing is if this is something I want to run very often, which is in the case of one-time transfer, don't. Um, you can just remember inputs. So I can go ahead and click on remember inputs. Um, don't really need it, but I'm going to do it anyways. And then I can uh, save and run this playbook. Let's see how it will work. I want to clean up this database really quick. Option B and uh, let's run this. And let's save and run this playbook. So it's going to run and boom. There we have all of the pages created. Uh, this is pretty much it. And let's recap. Field mapping is all about establishing a relationship between different data fields coming from one app and the other. If you want to learn a little bit more about Bardeen, make sure to check out our tutorials page. It has a lot of super valuable information. Go to bardeen.ai forward slash tutorials and make sure to watch this video next about how Bardeen works and about how to build automations yourself and get the most out of them. Cheers. This video.